It's been a busy Sunday for the two main contenders in the US presidential race with less than 24 hours to go until polling day on Tuesday. Both Democrat Kamala Harris and Republican Donald Trump held campaign events in key swing states, battleground areas widely expected to decide the outcome of the election. In Michigan, Harris vowed to turn the page on a decade of politics driven by fear and division. She described Tuesday as one of the most consequential elections of our lifetime and expressed confidence that she would win the race for the White House. Well, you all know what we say. We are not going back. because ours is a fight for the future. We get Trump, meanwhile, power spoke power confidently of an election we'll victory at his rally in North now. Carolina. We have a big, a beautiful lead. All we have to do, Mike, all we have to do is go out on Tuesday and vote, vote, vote. Poll trackers, right? however, suggest yeah, that Trump and that. Harris remain neck and neck like in this. North Carolina, as well as in six Somebody other swing states. Out. At a rally earlier in the day in Pennsylvania, Trump resorted to familiar unsubstantiated claims of vote rigging, claiming that fraud was already underway in the state. With less than 24 hours to go until Election Day, the race remains tight. But over the past few days, the mood has been shifting in favor of Kamala Harris. And here's why. Late deciders seem to be breaking in her favor, and a stunning poll from Iowa with her in the lead seems to be suggesting that she's a stronger force in the Midwest than expected. The main reason for the late mood swing, though, is her Republican opponent. Donald Trump's rhetoric has become increasingly erratic and violent, going after his political opponents with a vulgarity that is noticeable even by his standards. For the Harris campaign, that's a gift that keeps on giving an advent calendar of insults of women in particular. And you can feel that voters are noticing, at last. With one more day of campaigning to go, we might be in for a surprise outcome. Stefan Grobe, Euronews, Washington.